Hey, Chuck Vosberg here. In this video, I want to show you how you can handle blown out areas on the skin. So we had this photo shoot. The exposure is right, but at, the room was a little bit warm. So as we were working, the, the photo was started to perspire a little bit. Hi, Chuck Vosberg here. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to handle if you've got little areas of blown out skin on your model. So here's what happened. The exposure was right and we were working here. The room was kind of warm and the model perspired a little bit. The skin got a little bit shiny and I didn't notice as we were going. So now I've got a really nice photograph that I want to finish, but you can see here that we've got some areas where the skin's blown out and and that's no good that that is not a good look and unfortunately when something's blown out on a image it's there's nothing there and there's nothing you can bring back so here's my method now i'm just going to show you the part about the blown out skin but i should tell you this that the first step i would always do is go around with the healing brush tool and you know, go through there and fix all the little blemishes and things so you've got some fairly smooth skin to start with. Uh, that would be step number one, but uh, again, I want to skip ahead to deal with this blown out area. So the first step here is to go down to the layers panel and in the very bottom of the layers panel, click the new layer button. And I recommend naming your layers as you go. So I'm just going to call that uh, highlight correction. Just give it a name that makes sense to you. That way later on if you bring this back up and begin working on it you'll know what you were doing. So here's the trick. You, you get your mouse and find the eyedropper tool. Now I want you to notice as you click and hold down on any of these tools you can see what tools are hidden with it. Now the eyedropper tool is very well hidden. I've got mine showing up here because I just used it, but it's got a whole slew of other tools that it goes with. So whatever tool you happen to use last is going to show up here. I happen to have used it last. So eyedropper tool picks up a color. So you just click a color of the skin that's adjacent to the blown out area. So I'll just pick right here. I like to use a 3x3 three three average up here. There are some different choices. If you use point sample, it's not going to give you very good results. I recommend 3x3 three three or 5x5. Five five. That way it, it kind of gives you an overall. Because if there's one little pixel in there that's some kind of screwy color, it'll just pick that up. So use 3x3 three three or 5x5. Five five. Let me put that back. All right, the next step is to go to the paintbrush tool. And the paintbrush tool is going to paint whatever color happens to be the foreground color here in the swatches. Now keep in mind we're working on this highlight correction layer. Be careful that you're not painting directly on the background layer. Make sure it's on its own layer. So I've got my paintbrush. I need to make it a little bit smaller. And what we're going to do is just lay a little bit on here just to kind of smooth this out. So just go right up here in the very top and change the flow down to, I'll put it down to about 20%. Now you can see as I paint over it, it's just laying down a little bit. Now it has a cumulative effect. So every time I swipe over it with the mouse, it's going to lay down 20%. If you have a pressure sensitive tablet, it works even better. So we got that section handled. Now we'll go down here. Now be careful. Go back to the eyedropper tool, pick up an adjacent color, because the color of the skin here is going to be different than the skin up there. Then return to the paintbrush tool. There, that's better. Same thing on the nose. We'll do the same thing again. Eyedropper tool, pick an adjacent color to smooth this out. Switch back to the brush tool, adjust the size of it. I think I neglected to tell you how to adjust the size. It's the bracket buttons on the keyboard. Now, I, I mean the brackets next to the letter P, not the parenthesis. So we'll just kind of swipe over that a couple times. 
All right, so you can see here that this really did a good job. So let me show you the before and after. I'll turn on and off this layer. Just that easy. So just very quickly went through and fixed this. And again, you would want to go through and fix all the blemishes and stuff first so that you got some nice smooth skin to work with. But it, it's really just that easy. I, there's a million ways to do everything in Photoshop, but that's the easiest way that I've found to handle little blown out highlights on people's skin. So I hope this helped you out. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask me. I'm here to help you and have a great day. Bye-bye.